What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. So, I blow, you know what I'm saying? I blow a lot, actually a lot. And it's really annoying and it's really frustrating and sometimes I'm good and sometimes I'm not good and other times I'm really good. So I just kind of want to talk about what I do when I bloat, why I personally bloat and you know, maybe give you guys some ideas of how to fix yours and maybe, maybe just maybe, you could also leave some of your favorite tidbits and tricks to decrease bloating down below. That help us all out a ton. We love you, thank you. So to start off, I have dealt with bloating legitimately my entire life and for a while I just kind of thought it was fat I thought I was you know had extra fat on my stomach like I don't know I just was never a fan of my stomach and my digestive system in particular it's just not great okay it's just not a good digestive system if I could get another one I would but it can't so I just deal with it you know what I'm saying but I never really understood why I had it so the thing with bloating is there are a million bajillion a trillion different reasons why you could be bloating and the reason I bloat might not be why you bloat might not be why the next person bloats etc for some people it's narrowed down to particular foods for me there are some foods that do bloat me worse than others so for example onions anything in the onion family anything too garlicky too much sodium anything like that will bloat me really badly onion is actually notoriously known to do that so for you it might be that it is just a particular food group and if you cut it out you're good to go no bloating but for me that's not the case yes there are some foods that irritate my stomach a little bit more, but I bloat regardless. I could eat the same exact three meals, four meals, five meals, whatever meals it is, one day or for a whole week and be perfectly fine. And then the next week I eat that and I am bloated. So what does that mean? That means this little guy up here has a lot to do with bloating. Your brain and your, your stomach are kind of connected. So any sort of anxious thoughts, stressful thoughts, if you are just, you know, constantly stressed, constantly anxious, you can cause yourself bloating. They are connected. I have anxiety. I have just chronic anxiety. I'm, oh, I just do. I have accepted it at this point. Sometimes I'm a lot better than other times. When I'm going through those times where I am not that great in my mindset wise, you know, my mental health, etc., I cause bloating. My, my stomach just flares up a ton. So this could be, again, mental stress, any sort of stress on your body. So, you know, traveling could be stress. Even if it's just like, oh my God, I hope I'm not bloated. Like you're super stressed about not being bloated. You can cause yourself bloating. This has literally happened to me multiple times. So when I first wanted to sit down to film this video, I was feeling really good for a really long time. But then in the past like couple weeks, I don't know what's been up. I've been super anxious. Like I'm just, I have to take deep breaths often. I feel like there's a knot in my stomach. Like I just have like tension all over. I'm anxious. And because of that, I have been having a lot more bloating problems. What I'm going to tell you today that has helped me reduce my bloating is not a cure. For me, bloating will always be an issue. I know that. I've kind of accepted it at this point. I used to think that there was going to be one thing I could do that would completely say bye-bye bloating. Never again will you be an issue, but that's not true. When I have flare-ups, I have flare-ups for a while. It's not just like one day after one meal. It's like flared up for a week or two weeks and that's just something that i have to deal with and i understand that there will always be different things i'm going to be trying out to sort of you know reduce the effects of it and try to help out but bloating is just a part of me it sucks but i have to deal with it so what i'm going to tell you today again as i said is just going to be what i do to sort of act proactively to help bloating not happen not necessarily what i do when bloating has already occurred so let's get to it first thing I do that has been monumentally helpful as I said for me my bloating is mostly coming up from here so my magnesium we need magnesium in our diets a lot of us do not get enough magnesium in our foods we don't eat enough whole foods whatever we eat a lot of processed foods so we don't get enough magnesium now not getting enough magnesium can affect your anxiety it's really weird i don't know why there's scientific studies to it i don't know the behind the scenes of it but i do take this nightly five grams before bed this has helped out a lot with my bloating because it calms down my head calms me down unfortunately although i've been taking it every night i have been pretty anxious lately just because i'm really stressed with work and a lot of things i'm trying to do and i just got some weird thoughts up here that i gotta stop so 
This will help you out a lot if you struggle with anxiety and will eventually decrease bloating if you continue taking it every single night. Um, but I really suggest it. I take Natural Calm. It is raspberry lemonade. Now, next thing I take that I honestly, like I adore are my greens by Bomar Nutrition. I am a Bomar athlete and I have a referral code if you would like to get yourself some, um, but you get a hundred servings for like $35, which is pretty awesome. And it's all your vegetables and different things like that. So, you know, for bloating, it could be that you're just not getting enough vegetables in your diet and have whole foods. So you might want to take a green supplement to help with that. This is definitely helps with bloating a lot, um, keeping it down. But when you are bloated I don't necessarily have I haven't necessarily seen that it decreases bloating faster but I feel like it does help keep it away a lot more so I take one scoop every single morning on an empty stomach unless it's a day like today where I have forgotten to take it so I take it now in the middle of the day the third thing I have been doing and loving is drinking two of my water jugs a day oh let me get it so I drink at least two of these a day. If you deal with bloating and you are not drinking a lot of water, that could be the culprit. If you don't drink enough water and you're eating a lot of fiber, you could be backing yourself up. Just drink your water. So I drink two of these, which I think is a little bit over a gallon. Um, I'm not really sure, but I do suggest getting any sort of big jug like this to fill up with water to remind yourself to drink a damn water because it will help you out. It will help out your digestive system, your skin, your hair, your happiness. Water is important, okay? And it helps your muscles recover, so drink your water. Number four, I have been eating a lot more whole food instead of processed food. So there's nothing really wrong with processed food in my opinion. I mean, if you are having a little bit of it here and there, it's totally fine. But if you are eating it for every single meal, every single day, eh, you might want to stop that. So that was my problem. I was eating a lot of processed food and I just kind of felt like all the na unnatural ingredients could have been affecting my stomach poorly. So I kind of cut those out and I've been trying to focus more on whole foods and it's been going pretty good. But again, still I have a lot of the issues up here. So that definitely affects my bloating, even though I'm having, you know, whole foods, natural foods, low sodium foods, I still bloat regardless. Then the last thing that I have focused on is taking my CBD every night. CBD is an anti-inflammatory, so it can help with bloating and it also just helps with calming you down, decreasing your anxiety, and just helping you. That is my problem above all, is I like forget to breathe <sighs> like that. And when I have anxiety, it's just like, it gets overwhelming sometimes and just causes the bloating, you guys. Like, I don't know what to say. So last thing, I'm going to start implementing and I'm setting my mind to this and I'm making this happen and I would like you guys to try it out with me is to meditate every single day so for 10 minutes in the morning I will be meditating and I want you guys to join along on the challenge with me so right down below if you are going to join this meditation challenge with me let's see if we can fix our bloating this way if you are somebody who you think it's dietary I would suggest doing a little food journaling so what that means is basically write down what you're eating and how you feel so right i had oatmeal for breakfast i feel fine i had broccoli and chicken and rice for lunch i feel fine i had pancakes for dinner now i'm intensely bloated maybe there's something in the pancakes that you want to look out for that and you can also try out a low fodmap fodmap foods are foods that are particularly known to cause bloating and digestive issues and are a little bit harder for your body to digest so this could be anything like the onions that I was talking about, asparagus, like there's a whole bunch of different things that are healthy foods, but they cause digestive issues. So you can go on a low, low FODMAP diet and then one by one add in the different foods that are high FODMAP and see which ones are your kind of like trigger foods for the bloating and different digestive issues. Last thing I'll say is if you do not check out your fiber, start checking out your fiber. For fiber, it is super, super annoying, but you can either eat too much or eat too little. And there's just a sweet spot in the middle where you should be hitting your fiber because if you go over it, you'll be bloated. If you go under it, you'll be bloated and you just don't wanna be bloated, you know what I'm saying? If you go over it, try not to, but if you do, make sure you're drinking plenty of water to wash it through and help the fiber push through your body. You don't want to be clogged up. You know what I'm saying? It's not fun. So just don't do it. I talked really fast. Anyway, this is how I sort of cured quote unquote, because I didn't really, my bloating, how I decrease it, how I act proactively. If you have any questions, 
If you have any questions or any tips for the rest of us on how to not floating to the ground, comment down below. Make sure you like the video, subscribe, follow me on Instagram. I love you. Good talk.